back to my channel as always and today you're wondering why I'm in my bed because today I'm gonna show you how I'm sleeping my sleeping coat just kidding today I'm gonna read you this lovely story Ooh, my nose is kind of itchy sorry about it <laughs> whether today I'm gonna read this story to you it's created by La Lauren child okay so, my wobbly suit must not ever, never fall out. Whoa, that's kind of much to me. I have this little sister, Lola. She's small and very funny. This week, she got her first ever wobbly suit. That's nice. When I get my first wobbly suit, when I was eating a cake, then it just fell out. And I was really scared. Mom, come please. It was like that. Lola says, I do not ever, never want my wobbly suit to fall out. I need it. Mar Marv says, when I had my first wobbly suit, I nearly slowed it. Slowed it? I don't know. Luckily, I was eating a toffee. And my suit got stuck in it. I say, once I had, I hit it at football, and my wobbly suit just flew out of my mouth. But I do not ever, never want my wobbly suit to fall out. Says Lola. Why well, just take it off? I just want like ah, like sometimes they're just. Uh, doing it for the door, they're just like tying it and then close palm. But we're not doing like that. We're just like trying to get it out with anything we found. No, well, just kidding. Mom's Marv says, "Why not? I just need to keep completely all my feet," says Lola. And I said, "Those are your baby feet." And they're meant to get wobbly and fall out. Then you will get a new feed. And they are your grown-up ones. I have a grown-up ones at the up and at the down. Down are kind of uh, small because when I was little, I was, I was not eating any egg, any meat. I would just eating some candy so it's small but up is kind of big for me <laughs> like Moses says Marv Moses Moses antlers fall out fall off and then they get new ones which are better and stronger but I'm not a moose and I like my feet completely the way they are wobbly, says Lola. Well, I love my wobbly feet too, and now I don't have any wobbly one. Why? Just get out, little ones. Later, Lola comes over to play with L Lola. Lotta comes over to play with Lola. Hello, everybody. Hello, Lola. Look. Lola says, what is it? Lola, what is it? And Lotta says, oh, I just read it wrong. What is it? Lotta, what is it? And Lotta says, my wobbly suit fell out. What did you get? Says Marv. When my feet come out, I didn't know what I get, but I got some good stuff. Let's keep going. What do you mean, what did you get? Says Lola. And Lotta says, Well, this tooth fairy came in. Who is the tooth fairy? Says Lola. Well, the tooth fairy is tooth fairy. I put my wobbly suit under my pillow. And then in the middle of the night, the tooth fairy came and she swapped, my, she swapped it for a coin. Says Lotta. And in the morning, I bought this for the farm. It's a chicken! Lola says, I 
didn't know there was a special fairy who gives you think when your feet fell out. Why didn't somebody tell me about this before? Nobody told me about the tooth fairy. My wobbly feet must absolutely, completely come out now," says Lo. Lotta says. What will we get with your tooth money? We need a horse and a sheep and a cow. And Lola says, "I'm going to get a giraffe." Do you get giraffes on the farm? says Lotta. And Lola says, "Yes, you absolutely do, Lotta." But how do I get my wobbly feet full out? And Lola says, "You have to keep rolling it." Lola says, "I think it's almost nearly about to come out." And Lotta says, "Just keep rolling it." Marv says, "Do you want me to twist it?" No, Marv says. Lola, Mom said, "Absolutely no twisting, not ever." And I said, "Keep wobbling it, Lola. You must keep wobbling it. And then one time you'll need to do it like a really straight road. Like imagine you're doing a road, and it needs to be really straight. So you're." Ah, and it's going to be straight. And if you do like that, your feet will just come out, and you'll just go on there, and then you can take it off. I have so much teeth, like fallout feet. I can show you after after when I read this story. I'm wobbling it, she says, but it's still not coming out. I don't think it's ever going to come out. And then she squeals. Ah, Charlie! It's out. My wobbly tooth is completely out, and now I can't get my giraffe. Lotta says, "Remember to put it on your pillow. You must go to bed early, and、uh, you must fall asleep quickly, or a tooth fairy will not come." Lola says. Yes, I look after my tooth extra carefully till bedtime because I really want my giraffe. When you come over tomorrow, says Lola, I'll have my giraffe, and you can bring your chicken, and they could be friends, says Lotta. Don't forget, your tooth has to be in the very, very middle of under the pillow. I don't put my feet under pillow because I don't need it. I'm just putting it near or it's staying in my mouth so mom can't see. And then she'll say, "Oh, you get your first bubble of feet, and she can give me so much candies that I can eat all day long." At the bedtime, Lola says, "Charlie, I'm just going to go and wash my feet and make it shiny and clean." Why I just don't do it because it just fell out, and then I, oh no, my suit, my suit is completely not there. I say, check again. It must be there, but Lola says it's completely gone, Charlie. My suit is completely not there. Why can't you just wash that wobbly feet? It'll just go inside the sink. Hey, Lola, do you have a mind? Whatever. I say it must be somewhere. So we start searching everywhere. We look in this sink and under the beds, on the floor, and around the sofa, everywhere. If you have like a Really big house. It's gonna be really hard. Lola says it's gone. It's completely gone. Now the tooth fairy won't come in. I won't get a cunning. I won't get my draft. 
And then I have a really good idea. If you go to sleep and dream really happy dreams tonight, you will smell. And then the tooth fairy will see in the, the gap in your teeth and she'll know you really did honestly you lose your tooth. What a good idea. So Lola goes to bed. Dream really happy dreams. Really happy dreams. Really happy. In the morning, Lola looks under the very middle of the plow. She says, Charlie, the tooth fairy didn't come. Look, hurry up, Charlie. I need to get a draft. When Lota comes to play with Lola, she says, What's your draft called? Lola says, He's called draft. What's your chicken called? Lota says, It's called chicken. Hello, draft. Hello, chicken. Oh, look, I think they're friends, says Lola. Lola says, Maybe draft and chicken would like to meet Mr. Goat. But we don't have a goat, says Lotta. Oh no, says Lola. We don't have a goat. We need more wobbly seed. Have you got any more wobbly seeds? Lotta says, no, have you? I know, says Lola. Is this wobbly? No, says Lotta. Lola says, what about... This one, or this one, or this one, or this one. Wow, that was a good one. So now I'm going to show you my little teeth. Oh, I fell down. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's go to my secret place. It must be around somewhere. Uh-huh, I found my fire... Pirate treasure with a uh, wobbly food inside. No, not wobbly teeth. Full out teeth. Okay, let's go. Very so. They were just so small. This was my feet, which fall out. And I have so much in there. And I have like this. I remember this. This was my first wobbly feet ever. Yeah, this was my first one. And I have a surprise for you. Peekaboo! <laughs> so, okay, guys, today we video was about my wobbly feet and about this really bug, which created by Lauren Child. I really like the story, and you guys, I must tell you, good.